55 gallon house. Yep. Okay. And, and we're not gonna be able to use the the gas can to secure it. So we're gonna cut the top off, put screws from the wood and from the through the barrel into the wood, right? Yep. Cut a little door in it and we're gonna make an access hatch so that we can put a heat lamp in there in the winter. And we could make a few windows. Well we have to find some glass or something, like a pop bottle maybe. Yeah. We'll see. I don't know if we have anything. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's get started on it. Yeah. Okay. Cut around. The top part to be open. So we like cut these so that way they can fit the top over. These circles over here are the top of the window. And then we have the bottom right here for a cat. <laughs> so you go like that. Than that. It's not that hard, it's more like you have to like hold it, the barrel physically down, and then luckily my gut kind of helps. <laughs> so my barrel holder. You can go high like this too. But when you're first doing it, you can round the corners of the cap off. But yeah, we're gonna we'll drill some holes here so that if it ever gets enough moisture in there, it won't collect. Nice thing is it's plastic, so. If it ever gets disgusting, all I do is take it apart, pressure wash it, get yeah. a new blanket. So. We wanted the lid up here, but I think for ease of use and cutting, this line is a natural line here with this rib. So we're going to cut it. But the big thing when you're cutting this is to make sure that as you cut it, the barrel loses its structure and it'll start to deflect and the blade can catch and kick back. Just How cool would it be there. if we had like a two liter bottle that like fit this perfectly that we could leave out a little bit so they can... Oh, but that'd be cool. We'll see. First time I watched this out, they would not stop setting up. I was coming in through those holes, so you can never really get the top of the wood there very good, but it's actually it's not foaming up at all. The culprit. Right here. And uh, you don't really this, her name is Sugar. One of the trucks over there. Yeah. How she got a little frostbite on her ear last year. This one, the year before, it's all rounded off. We're gonna put a heat lamp in there, so. Got a little white paint on her from the bus. Okay. Let's see what kind of leftover materials we have from the boat build. I think we could use this pretty cheap. So as you can see, I'm not naturally an artist, so it makes sure this kind of looks somewhat decent. This is this piece of wood here. I like the little dog ear entrance. Yellow jacket in there. What do we have that gets a little bit hot but not super hot? But Torch? I can actually feel it relaxing. I didn't know that. Yeah, you can feel it. Actually, I bet if we just put the weight of this on there. Okay. Yeah, you can watch it get a little bit softer, easier to handle. Clear 
as soon as the fire hits it. Fighting it, it all kind of went on. Yeah, it wasn't perfect, but okay. So, I got my little scroll saw here. This blade always comes out. I'm just gonna make sure they're, they're tight. This isn't quite the right size. It doesn't matter how much I tighten these, they just keep coming, they always come loose. Hmm. How far do you think I'm going to get before the blade comes loose? I bet somewhere in this area. Over half. I bet I'll get a little over half. How about you, Addy? Yeah. You have to disagree with me slightly. How about right here? Mm. About three-eighths. I'm thinking it's about to go like a quarter. A quarter? Okay. Yeah. Okay, Addy's three-eighths and I'm a little bit over a half. Way over here now. Oh, he's a quick little guy. Oh, I need one. Okay. He's so cute. Thank you. Hello, I'm very dizzy. Hi, very dizzy. I'm still so your dad. For the door right there. Yeah, it's not very, very accurate. It looks, it's kind of off. Not too precise. So now, what Jimmy Buffett said. Uh, I don't know who Jimmy Buffett is. Sad day. Good. I think it's too high up. I think we should go like this. I think we should make like a staircase or something. Well, see, there's that second lift in there. Yeah, Ooh, we could like, they put like the windows there. Okay. It's a moon. It's a mustache? A moon. That like perfectly fits in it. And then the back and forth so that they sit level. I think we're gonna hit them all. I think the cats are gonna love it. Sugar shack. Now we're gonna screw the cat house down to the deck. Like a little bit of water, but 
screws aren't poking through too bad. It's pretty hideous. It'll probably lower the property value a little bit. Got these Easter flowers on there. Well, let's see if we can ever get a picture of them in there. We give them a little extra bonus dish of food. See if they'll use it. This is so cool. The little guy uses it. Let's, let's push it further in there so that... I think so too. I don't know if they'll ever go up to that second level. I don't think they will. Yeah, well. I think no, the kitten's been up there a couple of times. Water? Yeah. Just enjoying some food. Mommy and baby. Sugar and cinnamon. Like to pin that in. You can see that upstairs right there. Right there. Mm -hmm. Hi, the camera does look at me. I want to the camera. Oh, it's so cute. Alright, let's let's leave them alone in there so they don't feel so blocked in. Mom, not so much yet. She's thinking about it. I think the results are really good. Oh, she's a. It'd be cool to see the mom up there. Maybe if we leave him alone, no, she'll go up there. Yeah. So it's been about five months, and it's winter time now. It snowed. It's cold. And um, cinnamon is still using the house. His mom took off. I haven't seen her for a while. She comes around for food once in a while, but. A little window came out right here so i got a glue gun got one out and i popped the top off and straightened out his blanket and re-glue that window in we had a lot of wind here the other day so seems to like it though he's always coming out of there he sits right here because that heat lamp heats this board okay so Got the window hot glued back in and I straightened his blanket out a little bit. That's how I got his heat lamp. It doesn't overheat. I've had this in here. I don't know. Since the beginning of winter and it hasn't had a, hasn't been a problem. That's how it turned out and this top bits right over the top of it. And he's bugging me right now, he wants back in. I'll put it back in. Okay, so you know how we've been doing like the ramps down the stairs? Yeah. These stairs are not consistent. Okay, so this is my idea. Okay, so we take, um, you know those boards that I have on my flatbed mm -hmm. that we had cut at Home Depot? So we're gonna take those like this way. We're gonna go like this off that wall. We put like a block here and then we're gonna do the ramp down this way. And then um, for this curve here, for the jump, I think that like taking the two boards together like this is gonna cause it to plow and not work. So we'll have to put like one of the boards in the bathtub, some warm water, mm -hmm. and then curve it and brace it up somehow until it dries. And then, so the boards are 18 inches, I believe, by eight feet. So, and we have, I think, I don't know, maybe they're 12 inches. They're 12 inches, we have four of them. Anyways, so we're gonna take a Tonka truck, like this. A Tonka? Like a Tonka truck? Yeah, like the Tonka that's rotting in the weeds outside that you never play with. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna launch that down this. So, we gotta like find a way to keep it on the track. So we can either like come out here and do like a fence on the outside of the tire, of the wheels, or we could find like a smaller angle iron or something or angle wood, and we could put it on the inside like this, which would actually be nice because then we have like a car track in here for other stuff. Mm -hmm. 
And then I want to put like some, like the air mattress out of the bus or something right here. Oh, that'd be hilarious. Yeah, I don't want to destroy the Tonka truck. I just want to. Plus, either way, it. it'd be kind of funny because it'd go boom. Yeah, I don't want to pop the mattress. So I have to think of something. Maybe like a pile of clothes or something. But yeah, this is our tenth, uh, tenth subscriber video celebration idea. Video celebration, and then Calvin had this idea that the first person to comment um, will pin and we'll give him, we'll sign and send this drawing to them. And then, was it the 10th the tenth subscriber? Well, I was thinking the ninth subscriber could get the drawing and then the 10th subscriber could get the actual Tonka truck. Okay, and okay, so we don't need to give anybody anything for a comment? Yeah. You can have, the first person to comment can have this one here with all the dots <laughs> I'll sign it. I'll sign it right here. I'll sign it too. What's the date today? I don't know. Alright, there we go. I'll we'll have Calvin sign it. You wanna sign it, Calvin? Yeah. yeah. In blood. Or it doesn't count. My right. blood is blue. I'm from a different planet. Alright, there it is.